Hi guys, how are you? So today's Monday, April 27th, and I wanna make a video talking about the TWS scanners and how to use the scanners basically. So let's go over that. We're gonna mess around with all the scanners. So let's go into it here. So new window. So this is a brand new layout I created. So you just go down here and you click on the plus icon to get a new layout. Go to new window. Now, I've already clicked on the scanners previously, so they're showing up here. But to get them, you can either create a watch list, which will bring up a, a monitor, or you can go straight here to scanners and get the scanners yourself. So as you can see here, there's four different types of scanners, mosaic, advanced, bonds, and complex orders and trades. So I'm going to spend some time looking at every one of these and seeing what they have to offer. Also, if you go to advanced tools and you go down here and you see relevant EFPs, if you click on that, that's going to bring up another scanner as well. So you can see here that brings up a scan in itself. Let's do a mosaic for now. So you bring up the mosaic, it's gonna bring up a scanner. Now here is gonna be where it shows your scanner library, where you can put in new scanners, save custom scans that you had in the past and everything. So let's say I click on any one of their previous scans. So let's say I click on US Active, you're gonna see that it's gonna bring up a scan. This is a parameter that was created by IB. You can see here that it displays stocks with the greatest daily volume today. And you can also choose to customize that. But these are the parameters on these exchanges and the average volume has to be greater than or equal to 500K shares. All right, so you're done. And that's what it's showing us. It's showing us that USL is trading 136 million on the day. Now you can choose to edit the scanner. When you do that, click on customize or you can go and get a whole new scanner by just going back to the library here. And let's say I, I click on another scanner here that I have option volume, for example click on option volume, it brings up the option volume scanner. Now, so two things related to creating scanners. Number one is the universe, which is where you're scanning, essentially. So which exchanges, which markets, etc. And then there are the fields and filters, which basically are the things that make up your scan. So either one universe or fields and filters. And for some reason you can't minimize it you just have to click on one or the other that's kind of weird anyway so click on fields and filters and over here it shows all your filters and you can sometimes customize the filters so let's say you're looking for a stock that but you don't want to see stocks that trade below 20 dollars in price so you don't want to trade any penny stocks you go to last here create the parameter last and then you go to filter and you want to put a, like a 20 or 10 in there depends on your um price that you're looking for okay you can also choose this display as values, display as bar line, sort as low to high, high to low, unsorted. But you can actually choose that just by clicking here as well. You can choose to customize them as you wish here. So that's actually kind of interesting. So look, if I click on here last, now it's going to sort it as starting from this. When you click on a filter up here, for example, I click on the change percent, it's now going to filter by that parameter only. So if I click on it once, it's going to show change in percent by the most negative stocks on the scanner. If I click it again, it's going to show the most positive stocks on the scanner. If you want to go back to normal, you have to go back to the edit scanner and click on unsorted and then it will go back to normal for whatever you're scanning for. Okay, so definitely that's very important. So you have to determine whether you want to be scanning for the stocks with the highest percent, the lowest percent or the highest volume, lowest volume, whatever. Okay, so these are all your fields to add a new field. Go to add field right here. And you can also search for fields, or you can go into all of these different uh, menus here. So price, position, PL, ETS, options. And there's also one for indicators, I believe. So technical indicator. So you can scan for EMA crossovers and MACD histograms, price against the EMA. That's pretty interesting, actually, you know, if you think about it. So you can create very custom scans. You can also scan for shortable shares. So basically anything that comes up in these menus, you can make a scan for, you can scan for dividend yields, you can scan for any of that stuff, okay? And that's just in the regular scanner. So let's see what the advanced scanner has to hold now. So that's the regular mosaic scanner. Let's go ahead and open up the advanced market scanner. It looks different, but it does the same thing. So here's the scanner. You can choose to put a new scan or, or save a scan here. And again, here's your instruments. You can scan for any of these uh, markets, locations. So let's say I get rid of the pink sheet stocks. I want to scan for stocks greater than or less than or in the range of, so let's say greater than $20, volume greater than 1 million. And just for fun, let's say I want to add a filter. You can also add a filter into this uh, menu right here. Again, this is where your filters are going to be in the advanced scanner. On the right side here, you can choose to scan with these parameters that are the ones that are presented in TWS. So I don't know if you can see that it's kind of small. All of these parameters are pre-selected parameters that are already in TWS. You can scan for top percent gainers, most active, most active by dollar volume, stocks that are halted, hot contracts by price, 
option volume, high three minute volume. You know, you can scan for a whole bunch of different things. Hot by sell imbalance. So definitely you can experiment with this stuff if you're looking to um, scan in a very specific way. If you have a very specific type of strategy that works in a certain market condition, you can definitely scan for a whole bunch of different things, including technical indicators. So let's say I put up a scan right here. Let's say I make a scan. I click on any one of these. I want to click on most active search. I click on search right here at the top. So I brought up this scanner and I can see that based on the scan I did, which was most active in US stocks, the first one was AMD. And the reason it's most active, I guess that's because it has the highest volume uh, based on average volume. So you can see AMD, Bank of America, these are the stocks that are coming up on the list now. So, so now in regards to these columns that come up in your scanner, you can easily change them or add more columns um, as you wish. So the, the first thing to do would be to right click on a column. And when you right click on a column, you're going to get a lot of different info in regards to the column you click on. So if you click on last, you're going to get some parameters that can change your last parameters. If you click on volume, it'll talk about volume. Now when I click on customize layout, now it'll show you a few things here, trade columns, order columns, settings, but let's go to the scanner layout. Now if there's a specific column you want to add in the scanner layout, then you want to go here and click it and put it in. So let's say I wanted to add option volume, I'll go here and, and go find option volume and add it in and apply. And now you can see option volume was added into this. If you want to remove it, remove it right there. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's say I scan for something else, most dollar volume traded. You're going to see that based on the scans you choose here, these columns are going to change, obviously, because the scans are predetermined to show. So you can see that Tesla has traded already 8.8 .8 billion on the day in dollar volume. So if we scan for halted stocks, let's see what we get here. Nothing, because nothing's halted. Let's see if we scan for top option implied volatility gainer. I think you get the idea of this sort of scanner here. So just remember your instrument, your location, your filters, and extra parameters that IB adds. If you need to configure the menu or your columns you can either go to the top right here configure font and then scanner layout to change certain parameters and just be aware that when you click on these parameters it's going to change the columns that you've added in there okay now to save a scanner let's say you're really liking a scanner that you have you can just click on save or load scanner template right here and that's where it's going to bring up your menu that you've had scanner saved so i actually have a scanner here saved it's called scanner one and i guess it's saved in the tws files itself so let me open that and you're going to see that it opens up a scanner that i have saved here so that's an example of how you can keep your scans pretty much saved or decide to run a new scan every day that's as you wish completely guys so just to let you know about some of the power available in tws here let's keep going i've never actually looked at the bond scanner before so let's click on the bond scanner and see what it gives us so i'm not subscribed to the euronext corporate bonds i'm not sure what that is and you can see that these parameters i guess relate to bonds payment frequency maturity date issuer country mood rating s p rating I know nothing about bonds, so I'm not going to mess with this too much, but just to stay aware that there is a bond scanner dedicated to bonds only. So that must be relevant to bond traders, of course. Let's go now into the final scanner, which would be the complex orders and trades scanner. Now, this one's a little bit interesting. So you click on this here and you're going to see that it can scan for option combo trades that occurred in the market. So that's actually quite interesting. We have this scanner here. Right now it's on USO. Click on here, option combos. You can choose the exchange that it went through on. Smart, Amex, Cebo, ICE, Philly, or PSC. So let's say I click on, I don't know, USO. I'll leave it there. You can see that these are all the parameters here. Bid and ask, ask size, volume. You can't actually change these columns from what I understand right now because I'm trying to click on them and nothing's happening auto adjust column widths yeah that's going to auto adjust the width it will not give you the option to add a new column but again if you click on it it will reset the scanner to scan based on the highest or lowest parameter of what this thing is so you can click on them and you can see which one has the highest ask size or bid size so according to this option combo scanner here the uso this one went with the most volume today and we can see 2500 in volume the June 3 and 1.5 bear put and that's the, the spread that went through today with the most volume so that's interesting and I'm not sure if we can gain insights from this type of scanner but it's still interesting if you can use this info to your benefit then good on you all right guys so let's uh, take a look here now again if you go to more advanced tools down here you're gonna see 
there's a few things in here. And one of them is the relevant EFPs. If I click on this, it's going to bring up an advanced market scanner like I did before. All right, guys, so I'm going to create a new market scanner here. Click on scanner. Let's say I want to scan for US 52 weeks IV percentile. I'll click on that. You're going to see it's going to bring up two rows here. And you can see here is a detailed description of the scan that was created. A dual sorted scan displaying the underlying US stocks with the highest and lowest percentages of implied volatility. IV high, IV low, IV percentile, IV last. Pretty interesting if you're trading long-term options, I guess. All right guys, so one last thing to note would be scanners actually operate from a similar window as the watch list. So it's basically called a monitor. So this monitor can operate as a watch list. If you right click or left click here, you can click on any of these things which will show your portfolio, watch list, market mosaic, scanner, market statistics are predefined watch list. So if you click that, you can see that you can easily add in a scanner into a monitor tab. And again, just put in the scanner or whatever it is you're, you're looking to put in, click on next. And then everything is as you put it. All right, guys, so good luck with your scanners. And if this video helped you at all, please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Here's market statistics. This is actually quite interesting. I never looked at this before. Market statistics, we can see on every single exchange here, the three big exchanges, the NYSE, NASDAQ, and the Amex. I'm going to leave it there for today. I wish you a good day. Take care.